what's going on YouTube so we are on vacation right now and uh, we just got back in from the pool and got hungry and I figured we show what we're gonna eat uh, we was thinking about doing some bacon wrap uh, scallops yeah in the air fryer so we'll see how that comes out I figured do a little quick video on it all right so we got this little kitchen in this condo that we're renting out and it's got a little dining area living room and I'll give you all a view We actually stayed at the same room last year. Kind of requested it. We didn't know that uh, construction was going to be taking place every day, but it's okay. As you can see, there, I got some construction going on down there. Beautiful weather out here. High 80s all week, sunny. There is a storm, however, coming in at the end of the week, but we'll be well on our way out by then. So this is our grocery haul we had last night. We got us some water, some sparkling water, lots of butter, heavy cream, some cheese, more cheese. What is this? More butter. And we got us some fish, some scallops, some chicken, uh, some chocolate from the house, non unsweetened. And lots of bacon. Oh yeah, pounds of bacon, uh, eggs, and some leftover queso from the Mexican restaurant that we're gonna dip these bad boys in. They're awesome. So this is what we're having for lunch. Handful of scallops wrapped in some delicious bacon, all from Whole Foods. But anyway, this is our air fryer that we brought with us. We have a, actually two or three of them at the house. We use these things constantly, three times a day we cook in them. Uh, this one in particular is called a Farbware, I think it's called. There's the name down there. I don't know how you pronounce that, Farberware or something like that. They work real good. Uh, they, they don't last very long with us because we cook in them constantly and we don't clean it as well as we should. But uh, this one's new, fresh and clean. We brought it for the trip because they don't have an air fryer. Just microwave and stove and stuff. Like to do it. We bacon wrap everything pretty much at the house. Bacon wrap ribeye, fish, chicken. Chicken thighs are awesome. Normally, I'll just take the whole piece of bacon and go around it all the way until like it's like a little ball but these are so small we're just gonna cut the the bacon in half and we're gonna hope we don't need to put a toothpick in it to hold its shape because we have this cool little basket that we use and when you put it along the corners it just kind of keeps it in that shape so I'm gonna go ahead and just wrap all these up I don't know if this is going to be enough food, but uh, it's going to be a nice appetizer at least. Because we got all kind of food we could cook real quick if we're still hungry. But for some reason, we just wanted some seafood while we were on the trip. And nobody can cook it better than yourself if you know how to cook. My opinion. Right? That's right. So... Yeah, this bacon's kind of expensive, but it's real good. And Whole Foods, uh, I don't remember how much it was, but it's not cheap. I think it was ten ninety nine a pound. Yeah. Good stuff, though. And we eat a lot of bacon. <laughs> At least a pound a day between the two of us, for sure. More so you. Yeah, I like bacon. You bacon's snack too. with bacon on that. And I eat a lot of butter. Probably at least a stick of butter a day, which I don't know how many tablespoons that is. Oh, look at me, I'm not, did I cut those other ones? Yeah, I did. There we go. And I'm not putting any salt or seasonings on, on this, because we don't really use 
seasonings. Uh, just salt is all we use, and the bacon is so salty already, so you really don't even have to, to do anything. You'd be surprised how far this little bit of food will take you when you're eating good satiating fatty foods. All right, so we're gonna put the bacon up for another day or night. And then we're gonna put these in the air fryer in the middle and we just put the drip tray at the bottom. So we got the vent on up here because it's, uh, this thing does smoke a lot, uh, the air fryer, and I don't want to set off any alarms in here. So you could also change the function and do like air fry, bake, uh, I forget the other ones, but we're air frying this one at 400 degrees. You can also change the temperature and the time and all of that. So we have an appetizer right here. Like I said earlier, we had some corn crisp. Basically, it's just uh, Parmesan cheese uh, baked. And this is some leftover queso with ground beef in it. From the Mexican restaurant, we got some uh, carbonated water, sparkling water. We can have some of that. We're going to have to learn how to make this. Yeah. It's pretty fantastic. We don't eat the queso all the time because it's got stuff in there that we're really not supposed to be eating on our diet. But it's pretty yummy. Yeah, these things are so yummy. And basically all it is is cheese. It's baked. Here's the stats on the back. There's no sugars in it. That's the main thing I'm looking at. All in one carb. Fat and protein. Gotta have both of those. Just checked on them. It's probably been like 10 15 minutes they've been in there. That's what they're looking like. I think they're about right. Yep, yeah, they smell cooked. They look good. They've been cooking about 20 minutes, I guess. There's the drippings. What I like to do is grab a pot holder and drain it out before it gets cold because then all the drippings gets kind of slimy and hard to clean. So, I'm gonna pour that out. So it looks like one got untied here. He tried to escape. He's, he, he ain't going nowhere though. And this is the butter we use. But uh, this is real butter, not margarine, not made from vegetables. Good stuff. She's gonna taste it first. If it's nasty, I'm not eating it. I don't like it. Good deal. I like the texture. Yep, this is a win. <laughs> it tastes pretty darn good. All right, so for dessert, my dessert is always coffee. I love coffee after lunch, supper, breakfast, anytime you just get the cup. Normally I'll put twice the amount of this, but I'm gonna go light today. And I've been doing this lately. Christina makes these little chocolate wafers, uh, butter bites basically. Uh, what is it, brown butter bites and cocoa powder. So it has no sugar in it. I usually put a a half of one in there and I'll eat the other one while I'm waiting. <laughs> but that was real yummy. So butter, cream, and chocolate. Just a little bit more. And this is also some vanilla, vanilla bean salt. I know, salt and coffee? Absolutely.
more chocolate. It's an extract. Not much. That's all you need. Espresso flavor. Give it a little more of a coffee flavor to it. I think it's all, sometimes I'll put cinnamon in it. Not today. I know this is plastic and it's going to kill me. I'm going to get cancer and all this other stuff. This is how I do it. You do you. Deathwish coffee, dark roast. I think it automatically cuts home whenever you kick it down. I'm just going to have a small 8 ounce, not a whole lot. 12 seconds later. And this is also from the house because they don't usually have these in hotels and this is a spare that we keep for travel because we love our cure instant coffee and we also have the ninja that we brought which is this part and you just blend it you gotta wait a little while because the heat will make it go if you open it right away which it does sometimes even though you wait See, not too bad. Though. My coffee cup's not big enough. That's okay. I think I may put a little cinnamon on that. Six and a half hours later. <laughs>
That's a big one. sunset again and while we do that we're gonna cook this pretty tomahawk steak that we picked up from the store and we're just gonna go straight into the air fryer cooking out on the balcony because it smokes a bit now when we cook these we prep them we massage them, we tenderize them, we season them. Nope, we just do that. <laughs> A little salt after it comes out. And lots oh, of butter. Yeah, oh yeah, I can't forget the butter. 400 degrees, air fry, 25 minutes. Moments later. All right. So it's been cooking for about 15 minutes. 
close to it. That's a little bit of dripping. It's looking nice. I think I'm just going to grab it with this towel and flip it. And let it finish. Number one. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. We're gonna let that rest. All right, and for the second course, we got some sea bass, heavily buttered. Mm -hmm. Just gonna put it straight on the pan. You think in the middle? Yeah, I think in the middle would do fine. Got a little sea salt. See what it looks like inside. All right, got our butter out. Got our two plates. We're gonna split this steak, and by the time we're done eating it, the fish will probably be done. Got some water too. Part our water. This is fabulous. Mm hmm. So tender. Mm. Look at it. It's wonderful. Mm hmm. All right, we're going to call it on this one. We're going to save it for breakfast. Cook it with some eggs, steak and eggs. So we don't have a whole lot of light out here other than the cell phone, but it just came out. If you've never had sea bass, you must try it. It's like straight butter. It's so yummy. It is not a cheap fish, but no. it is a delicious fish. It's actually more expensive than that tomahawk. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta eat it before it gets cold.